Hi everyone, really good to see you again. Now, where are we today? Today, we're in Sutton. Now, it's not often that we do fast food. And, and uh, you know, it's, we've done a McDonald's video and we've done a Wimpy video, but it's only right that I try Wendy's because we have a lot of American viewers out there and quite a few of you said, Gary, you know, they've just started up again and I think you should give it a go and compare it to sort of other burger chains. So now's a good time to compare it and see what it tastes like against Wimpy's. Now, a little bit about Wendy's itself. Now, um, it was founded in 1969, and what the guy done, he actually named it after one of his daughters. He had five daughters, and he couldn't decide on what name, so he chose one of his daughters' nickname, Wendy's. Now, it was really, really sort of uh, big in the UK. Obviously, it's massive in America, but it got big in the UK, and then in 2000, bang, it was gone. Uh, and they've made a bit of a comeback. So I, I believe that they've opened up just shy of 50 restaurants throughout the whole of the UK and they've got plans to really, really expand it as well. Now, the interesting thing about Wendy's is their burgers are fresh, they're not frozen. So that's kind of their, their major point of difference. As always, let's give it a go. And the bit I have forgotten is I've never had a Wendy's before. Never, ever tried it. Come on then. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Okay, so we come inside, take a look around here. Very, very modern. Wooden tables, uh, metal chairs, so you're gonna hear a lot of scraping going on. Now, what you do, you come in, you go over to one of the little computers over there. It's gonna be fun for me. Uh, place your order, and once you've placed your order, you go up and you collect it. So, that's what I'm gonna do. See you guys shortly. Okay, so here we are. Let's get this right. Biggie meal deals. So let's go for the hamburger. We've got the Dave's Single, Double, Triple, Baconator, Bacon Cheeseburger, Deluxe as well. Let's go for a Baconator. There we go. Combo? Yeah, we'll make it a combo. Uh, add, 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 add. Uh, continue. So, let's get some... Do you know what? Should we, should we go for a jacket potato for a change? Yeah, let's get a chili jacket potato. Continue. Drinks. Uh, let's go for um, one of their frosties as well. So a regular frosty, add to bag. Uh, add a tasty extra, no, no thanks. And then I'm gonna go for a salad as well. Now I've gotta be healthy here because you know, I'm having a big burger. So let's go for the avocado chicken salad. Uh, confirm. Confirm order, let's just see. Baconator combo with jack and potato. Yep, that's all there, 21.68. Okay, so I'm gonna pay, then queue up, and I'll see you at the table. Okay, so I've collected my food. First impressions, well, I'm gonna say, the smell of that chili, that's beef chili there, that's excellent. So, I've got my jacket potato, got the beef chili and the cheese on top, so let's move that over there. And I've got my salad here, and then two scoops of avocado. You see there the chicken, underneath you've got bacon, cheese, lettuce, tomato, everything in there. Now I actually saw the lady doing this fresh, so that's quite impressive. Then, Go on to the shake here. Now I put that straw in. That is one thick shake. That's more like ice cream than shake. Look at that. Wow. Oh, sorry. You also get your ranch dressing to go there. So let's move that there. 
and finally the actual burger itself. Let's have a quick glance inside here. Actually, I'm going to say, it makes a change here because the bacon doesn't look anemic. And I've got to say, every time I've never gone to McDonald's and had their bacon, oh my God, that's kind of not good at all. Again, just taking a closer look, I think possibly the cheese could have been done just that tad more, but hey, that's being picky. It's un unusual because it's square patties, so that's kind of like really strange. Got the bacon on top, and I'm just looking underneath. Sorry for taking this all apart, but you've got bacon again underneath, then another square patty, and um, more um, cheese, so yeah, that's uh, that's quite substantial to say the least. Now, the thing that's also interesting is none of their burgers are frozen, they're all fresh burgers as well, so that's something completely different. So, let's dive in and see what it tastes like. I'm quite lucky here, there's no chance of me salad going cold, although saying that, the jacket potato might. Brilliant smells off that jacket potato. Okay. So the first bite, my first bite of a Wendy's. Let's make sure I get some bacon in there. Mm. Of course, I've forgotten the serve yet. That is really substantial. You can taste the bacon in there. <clears throat> That's really nice bacon. Again, the burger itself, I'm just going to cut a little bit of that burger off. That is very tasty. Juicy. Tasty. The cheese goes in there so well. And actually, it's uh, processed cheese. Yeah, I think that's a little bit interesting in there. Oh, actually, it's got mayonnaise as well, so it obviously makes it you know, more juicy, if you like. Now, what I really like is the flavour of the the beef patties as well because normally when you go to mcdonald's i find them really bland but these aren't they're very tasty the only thing lacking in there i think it could do with some um tomato it could do with some lettuce you know just to, to balance it down but taste wise it's a taste sensation i think it's a thumbs up from me now i'm just comparing it to wimpy because i'm just on um the wimpy burger that is miles better flavours in there are excellent, you know, that is um, one, one really good burger, so my apologies to all you fans of Wimpy's out there, but yeah, that is tasty, very good. Let's have a little uh, try on the shake here. Do I have any luck there? Choose a spoon. That is so thick, look. That is ice cream. That is actually more ice cream than milkshake. My only mistake, I wish I got the chocolate one. But again, very, very nice. Look, the straw is kind of pointless. Okay, let's go over in here and see what this jacket potato tastes like. Okay, so onto the jacket potato. So we've got the beef chili, cheese. Let's try it. Actually, I'm going to start with the chili. Let's see what that tastes like. Mixed up with some cheese there. Wow. The chili's really nice. There's uh, no spice to it at all, so if you're not into your spice, no needs to worries there. Got the beans in them. You can see the kidney beans there. Normal beans as well, so. Right, let's have a look at the potato. Wow. Yeah. That's been cooked really well. It's not hard. So that potato is really good. <laughs> Actually, interested in this one. Um, I'm thinking of doing um, a bit of a comparison video with a very famous chef who sells jack potatoes and they are very, very expensive. And compare it to another chap who does uh, jack potatoes, possibly the most popular guy in the whole of the UK. Now, if you're interested in seeing that video, leave us a message in the comment section. Now, let's see what this tastes like. That is cooked perfectly. You can just see it there. Just no issues whatsoever. That's a good jacket potato. Let's have it with a bit of the beef chili there. It's going to go wrong, isn't it? 
the extra two pound, and that's what it is, for the extra two pound, instead of having fries, I'd have that all day long. That is a really good jacket potato, and I really enjoy the chili. The cheese is melted perfectly in there. Wow. That is, yeah, take a look, you see the cheese all melted there? Wow. Hi, I'm very impressed so far. Wendy's, you're doing a good job. Now, on to the healthy option. So, you take close up here, got avocado, chicken, bacon underneath, cheese, lettuce, tomato. Well, yeah. Now, I'm not really mad about fast food, um, but so far, I might change my mind here. Let's put some of the old ranch dressing on. It says uh, Southwest Ranch Dressing. So let's try a little bit of the dressing. Before I go too mad, I better try it, hadn't I? Let's get the whole works. Actually, let's have a bit of avocado as well. The chicken's actually got a, a, a spiciness to it. But the ranch dressing, ooh, that's actually really kicking back. A strong ranch dressing. But, you take a look here, you see the flavorings there. You see you've got peppers in there. But it, it's kind of like a little bit of a, a tiny bit of a kick there. Yeah, as I said, the chicken there, a nice little bite to it. Now, I actually said, Let's get this because it's the healthy option. But as you look through it, you've got skin on the chicken, you've got loads of cheese in there, you've got bacon, you've got avocado, and then you've got the ranch dressing on top. I'm not too convinced this is a healthy option, but it is a tasty one. Yeah, excellent flavors all around. Again, the lettuce, the tomato, excellent crunch to them as well. So, yeah. and I also, I, I said to you already, watch the girls chop it all up and put it all together. So it doesn't come already done. So, yeah. Okay, so back on the burger. And I'm just looking at the sign here. $5.99, bigger deal. So basically for $5.99, you can get one of these burgers plus a portion of their nuggets as well. £5.99, that's really good value. And just behind the camera, man, it says, we do breakfast as well, 7 till 10.30. Didn't know they were on breakfast. So, might come back and do a comparison video see how good their breakfast is. It's half as good as the burger. I definitely enjoy it. Mm. Okay, after seeing the sign in the window where it says you get some nuggets, what I've gone and done is I've got myself some nuggets. Now, for those of you who don't like your technology, you can't actually go up and order. You've actually got to use uh, one of their machines over there. But yeah, so. It's not the biggest portion of nuggets in the world, but again, it wasn't particularly expensive. So, it comes with a, well, you choose your dip. I've got a sweet chili one there. You take a look there. You can see the coating on there. It's, uh, I imagine that's uh, some pepper there. Now, these are spicy ones, so. Mm. Wow. Well, I mean, they have got a kick. Again, the coating itself, Soft, the chicken inside. Yeah, that's very nice. Let's try it with some of the sweet chili dip. The other thing is, we've had a bit of a feast here. Only got four of them there. You can get eight, 12, 16, so you can get a bigger portion if you want a bigger portion. I'm also gonna tell you, they are actually worth getting. They, they do have a little bit of a kickback. It's got a nice little spice there with the, um, with the pepper in there. They're actually nice nuggets. What I'm going to do, just finish these up. Thankfully that has now melted. So it's turned into a little bit more of a milkshake. And I'll see you outside, because the music's quite loud in here. And I'll give you my final thoughts. What's your final thoughts? Um, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm sitting here quite surprised and impressed. Okay, I'll see you outside. So we've come outside to do the review and it's not raining. I can't remember the last time it wasn't raining when I was doing a review. Now, a little bit about the restaurant itself. You go in, uh, I've got to say we cheated a little bit. We went in, found a table because it actually was quite busy. It was lunchtime. But you go in, you place your order. 
then go up to the counter, bang, pull your number out. Uh, there's not a huge amount of waiting time either. You only wait about five minutes or so. The restaurant, immaculately clean. Really, really good attention to detail there. That's really, really clean. So now you've got to bear in mind it is a chain, so all restaurants are different, aren't they? So, but this one, very, very clean. Now onto the food. Now I've got to say, if you compare Wendy's with McDonald's or, or Wimpy, uh, and even Burger King, we haven't done Burger King on the channel. I've got to tell you, Wendy's wins all day long. Now I know there's quite a few out there who, who love your Wimpy. My apologies, I'm not trying to down Wimpy at all, but I was really surprised. My first time in Wind, uh, Wendy's, and I've got to tell you, it won't be my last. Starting off with my Baconator. I like that name actually, it's a good name. Uh, the beef in there, wow, that was excellent. Cut into a square, which is completely different. And as I said earlier on, they're not frozen. Um, two nice slices of beef in there, had the cheese. Wow, the bacon, lots of bacon, four pieces of bacon. And as I said, the bacon wasn't like anemic looking. Onto my jacket potato. Now, beef chili there with the cheese. The cheese had all melted and melted into the chili there. Potato itself, that was really good. Now inside, I actually said to you, you know, fries or this jacket potato for two pound extra, I think it's a no brainer. It's definitely that jacket potato. Into the salad, so you had the salad there. I like the chicken in that salad. And I'll tell you what else really worked it was that ranch dressing. I do like my avocado, I've got to stop going on about that, but I do like my avocado and it had the bacon in there. The salad was nice and fresh. Quite impressed with that. As for the nuggets, only four of them. Had a nice little kick to them and yeah, put a little smile on your face. So for my Baconator, it was £11.19. Now I paid an extra £2 on top, so £13.19 because I had the jacket potato. My avocado chicken salad was £8.49 and for them nuggets was £2.49. So a total of £24. Um, you know something, when I saying I completely forgot, it was a milkshake. How could I forget that? Because that took me God knows how long to, to have. That was actually really tasty, but if you like, actually a bit of a criticism, it's really thick, it's more like an ice cream than a, than a milkshake. But uh, yeah, that was tasty. Now 24 pound. Now, if you compare that with Wimpy, I think that was 29 pound. And that's, I think if you had the equivalent in McDonald's, that would be sort of 16, 17 pounds, something along them lines. However, the big difference was, this was very tasty. It was really, really good. I enjoyed it. Um, marks am I going to give it? I'm going to give it seven and a half, eight. I'm going to give it seven and a half out of ten. Got to bear in mind it is fast food and it's not that cheap, is it? You know, twenty-four pound. That's not. It's not that cheap. Although I did have a an awful lot there. Now, as always, really, really like to hear what you think. Now, going back a uh, step, should I do that spud challenge? Shall I try two jacket potatoes, a really expensive one with a celebrity chef? Not sure about this one. Or do I give it a miss? Love to hear your comments. Until next time, oh, please like and subscribe because I appreciate that. Until next time, bye-bye.